I think what the the book is uh, tells us a lot is a, a lot about the relations between humans and nature in this period. And I think it, it does that in a lot of ways in terms of the kind of freedom to cut, the the, the not worrying about um, uh, about setting fires because because who cares? Because there's basically an endless amount of of uh, woods here anyway. I think that was the, one of the things. And But to me, maybe the lessons of the book or whatever um, are not so much environmental as more um, cultural. And I, like, I really tried to paint the Miramichi as kind of the Fort McMurray of the British Empire at that moment, that it was the one that was really fueling everywhere else, which, which remarkably, I think 1825 was really the peak even before the fire, it was probably going to be the peak of Miramichi mm-hmm. as a as a timber area anyway. And then the fire um, fire was one of the things, including economic decline and other things like that, that were probably going to cut its impact somewhat anyway. But at that moment, it was really at the peak of its power. 